Hello everybody and welcome to Ship Reviews in World of Warships with Peyton. This is the, probably my first uh, World of Warships uh, review and I said for the first ship and it's gonna be special I'm gonna review the Kirov, the mighty Russian tier 5 cruiser. Now uh, this is a very powerful ship I really really like to play it I love it to bits and I'm gonna explain why. So we have four nations each has its own tier 5 cruiser so we have the Russians then we have the Germans then we have also the J Japan with the Furutaka and USA with the mighty Omaha now all ships now all of those four ships have its own benefits but they have all their own drawbacks so um, but this ship has, I know, only one major drawback, I think, and I'm gonna explain it. So, first of all, survivability. So, hit points is 26,000 hit points. So, it has 13 to 50 millimeters armor. So, Citadel is armored by 50 millimeters of uh, armor. And it's pretty much steel. So, it has the second best mm, score by hit points. The only ship that has more hit points is the Furutake, which I think has about 228 thousand hit points, which is 2,000 more. Nothing major. All of both uh, Koningsberg and Omaha have less hit points. Now, artillery is something special in this ship. It's 180 millimeters uh, cannons, and you have nine of them in three different turrets. Now, um, the lack of these guns is the rate of fire. It has the 15 second reload time, which means that you're gonna fire about, I don't know, let's see, the rate of fire, um, machine fire range, I don't know, about 28 shots per minute. So, it, it's not the best, but uh, it does outperform the for attack uh, with a 20 second reload time on those 200 millimeter cannons. Um, now what's special about these guns, they have a very very powerful range. Now the, it's only comparator in the range is Koenigsberg with uh, 16.5 kilometers of range. Now this ship has about 0.2 kilometer less of range. But it has bigger guns as the Koenigsberg has 150 millimeter guns. And it has 30 millimeters bigger guns. And it has the same amount of them the 9. But they are more powerful and they're gonna make a lot of Citadel penetrations with these guns. Now, the hit has six of secondary guns, which are these um, dual purpose uh, guns. And. I don't know. They are useful for both. Well, they're not, you're not gonna be using them for when it comes to self defense, but you can use them. So, another thing that this ship is. It has its torpedoes. They're not the best, but it has them there. So, torpedoes are not the most fastest, but uh, it will do uh, up to uh, torpedo speed um, is 1.2 kilometers. So, the torpedo range is 4 kilometers, the damage is about 15,000 uh, damage, and the reload time is uh, 70 seconds, which is, I don't know usual for cruisers that they have very bad uh, reload time that the fast reload times is for destroyers pretty much so I know I used the torpedoes are pretty much for the self defense against the battleships so nothing major that would mm, charge into ships but, but, which I sometimes do if I cannot destroy the enemy by uh, guns now anti-aircraft armament it's not bad but uh, it does its job alright so we have 9 mark uh, 70 um, machine guns, then we have six of these secondary per dual purpose guns, which uh, can shoot down some planes, which are quite effective. I shot down quite a bit of planes, I think it was eight the most that I did in this uh, ship, which is very good for self defense against torpedo bombers and that. But it, it does the job, it's not something special, but it does the job, alright. Now, this ship is also very maneuverable, it does 35 knots. Which is very very good for the cruiser. It can be compared to the Koningsberg and the Omaha, which have both about uh, to 40 km, well, 35 to 40 km knots uh, top speeds. Now, the turning stock radius 
It's alright, the Omaha and Königsberg are both very maneuverable ship, and this ship doesn't lag very far behind them. The fu um, Furutaka really lacks on its maneuverability, so it's there in the middle when it comes to maneuverability. Now the concealment, it, it's alright I guess. You have 14.2 km the detectability from the sea the, before the enemy ship spot you. With, but the enemy is gonna be way in your firing range by them because it has 60 km firing range. Now by air you're gonna be spotted by 7.5 uh, 7 km. Which is, if you look, it's, it's not gonna be helpful because you have only 3.5 2 on the closest guns, but the dual purpose guns have the 5 km range. So, it, it hasn't the point because you're gonna be spotted anyway. So, this was a bit of stats. Now, if you just look over the modules, you get two modules upgrade, which are the fire control system, rate, which increases your firing rate by 10%. So, it means you came from 14 km to 16 km firing range. And with the whole upgrade you gain a bit more hit points, it's about 2,800 hit points and you get uh, one anti-aircraft armament uh, point less, but uh, it doesn't suffer that much, so this is a basics about this ship, so now I'm gonna get show some gameplay, so stay tuned for that. And we'll go to gameplay guys, so... I'm on the New Dawn map, and this was a quite well. It wasn't the best m m match uh, in this ship. I had way, way better games, but I didn't find the replays. And the newest 0.5.8 update came, and those replays are not able capable for me to be played. So um, I found some newer gameplays, and this one, it's okay. It presents some. No, no, strengths and weaknesses of this ship. About the weaknesses, I didn't talk about the weaknesses of this ship. Now, the biggest weakness, uh, in my opinion, to this ship, it's its armor and citadel placement. So what uh, I mean by that is that uh, it doesn't have the particularly very good armor. It isn't the best one, I guess, but uh, it has that strange citadel placement. As it's a low ship. The citadels are actually quite high on this ship, so they are usually above the waterline and right below the turrets. So the front of the ship is actually a pretty much citadel mm, magnet, because pretty much if you get hit from the front um, in this ship, you're gonna get citadel hits, so you're gonna get lots of damage. So that's the only weakness that I found out about this ship. And I don't know if you. Well, no, high between, behind the heavy battleships, uh, you can, um, well, you will protect yourself against those. So I'm right now I'm firing at that Kumberg, and the things are starting to heat it up. So this is a quite nice match for this uh, ship. Well, it's the best type of the match because there are three, four uh, ships. The highest are the tier five aircraft carrier Zul. And there's a couple of Kamikaze uh, um, destroyers. Now the worst matchmaking that possible in this game is tier 7, so that means Colorado. And here we have some hits. And we scored some penetrating hits. This new feature is very helpful. It shows you what to do to the enemy. I did one penetration, one or penetration hit. So this is a nice feature. That was uh, given us in this newest update. Incoming fire from the Karlush. I uh, got hit, but nothing major. And he is returning fire, and I'm returning fire. Now, this ship, I like to fire a lot of armor piercing. Because of this. Because the citadels. This ship gives citadels like it takes citadels. The caliber is 180, so this ship has a nice penetrating value on the guns. So, it's nice. And it will do a lot of damage, as you can see, I did about 3000 damage uh, on the enemy ship. And here comes some torpedo, and it was probably the uh, Kamikaze class. One of our guys just team killed somebody, which is not very good. Um, so, 
I'm forgot to focus the fire right now on this Karlush. And here comes some shots. And let's see what we're gonna do. We get one four up or penetrating hits, one bounce and one penetrating hit. And we did some quite a big amount of damage to them. Well I'm in the tier four ship and they're in tier uh, four ship, so <laughs> substantially more powerful guns than him. And those were three penetrating hits, and here comes the Phoenix, returning fire. And it's firing the HE. Which is not good in this ship because as I said, not very particularly well armored ship. And here came some torpedoes and it looks like it was from that Karlush. And something big hit that Phoenix. And I'm returning fire to him. And it was probably this Mugi, which is finally armor piercing and he's down. So I said, screw you guys, I'm going backwards. And I hit the labor bore. And I continue my sailing towards the back of the spawn. So I said that I'm just too aggressive in this ship. I'm usually pretty too aggressive this ship because I like to be close and hit those citadels on the ships because I have that caliber caliber of guns. And I'm firing on the Skarush, which is this should nah it's gonna miss. Or this one. Nah it doesn't more than mine. And here comes torpedoes from that kamikaze. And now I start focusing my fire on that kamikaze. And he dropped torpedoes. And not in my direction. So I set the course for that kamikaze to try to wait his torpedoes and try to put him down. But this ship isn't particularly good at destroying destroyers. Because destroyers have low armor and uh, little hit points. So. It usually over penetrates, but if you use HE, it should do some damage. Now this ship also doesn't have a very good rate of fire, and it usually suffers. And here we have some six penetrating hits and two fires, so he's burning and he ha has been incapacitated. Here comes his torpedoes. I popped the uh, acoustic search uh, right before uh, I saw him, so that I knew. New early aware that torpedoes are gonna be, so I can now nicely await his torpedoes and continue my course uh, towards. Now there is loads of uh, fighters and uh, torpedo bombers, so this I thought this is gonna be the torpedo and die bombers that are gonna be doom of me, but um, the our aircraft carrier did a good uh, good job at keeping them away from us. So shout out to our aircraft carrier. The F Mike mm, 1450. And now I'm concentrating the fire on the Noomberg. And this is gonna hit. Okay, we got one penetrating hit. So, this is nice. So now I saw that the other flank is a little bit crippled. So, I said that I should step in and try to help him out. Because the St. Louis and the Mugi have the scarred as they sunk the. Uh, and I concentrated on this Kumberg in my fire, which is a tier 3 ship and doesn't have a lot of armor. So, my mistake by firing armor piercing at him, but I was trying to see if I can score some armor piercing hits on him. And uh, here comes the Pyrrhus from our sunken destroyer, or uh, now it was the aircraft I am at. So, I'm trying to concentrate the fire on him. Uh, let's see if it hits, and it's gonna hit. Nicely, five over protruding hits, but it's okay. So, I'm slowly moving, I'm returning fire to that Karlush, and there comes some torpedoes from the other torpedo squadron. There's some nice hits, one was penetrating, did nice mod to damage, and they're actually nicely stacking the damage. This ship is actually really good at stacking the damage on the enemy. It doesn't have the best rate of fire, but it has the, actually a very decent armor penetration value and damage value. That's how much how much I can do with the actually these guns. Um, okay, I cannot see, but uh, let's see if I can hit this guy. And I got him. Only penetrating, but we did damage. 
So let's keep sailing towards B and C. And the enemy just kept B points, so I need to get the fast as possible to the A points so I can support the Kamikaze and Uncle Sopita. And I see a nice opportunity to do more damage uh, along the way as this Karlush is exposing um, the least of his uh, frontal armor, but I'm still doing some nice amounts of damage to him. And let's see another cell. The St. Louis is pouring the fire on him. And a little bit too little lead, so those uh, cell missed. But the Karush was taken out, so now we continue our progress towards the A point and now we are concentrating our fire on the Konigsberg. Now one thing that I didn't realize when between the gameplay was that, that there was two destroyers in this game. One was up there on the D1 lane, another one was right behind this corner. I, I shut down the throttler as possible and start turning as fast as I could and I waited all the shots. So this was nice. Now, I, my mistake by firing the armor piercing the destroyer, uh, it overpenetrated him and it didn't do the full damage. So, But now I'm getting under fire of the Gunningsberg, which is another tier 5 cruiser from Germany. Uh, it's also poorly armored, but it has a very long, powerful, long range guns. They are better rapid firing, but uh, they don't do as much damage. The points of the Koningsberg, in my opinion, is and here comes another salvo. Kill the throttle and full turn right, and you can easily wipe all torpedoes. And there comes another one, and there is another kill. And easy. And now to kill the throttle, so I uh, pass the torpedoes faster. And meanwhile, my anti aircraft armor was engaging those fires, but didn't match to kill them. As I said, it's only the self defense purpose. They won't shut down many planes, but it's there to help you at least when you get under fire by enemy uh, torpedo bombers and dive bombers. Now, we pulled back the game, and now it's uh, pretty much two destroyers and one carrier, I guess, one battleship, one cruiser, and one destroyer, and one aircraft carrier. So we have overall the advantage for this game. And our battle uh, aircraft carrier is doing a great job keeping the enemies out of our way. And here comes the Kamikaze, the other one, as I was talking to. And I turn the ship full broadside, load the guns with HE, fire away. Now the problem is that they are fast, but they are not the fastest rounds. But you still can do some mess damage to them. And my secondary, and we shut down one of those fighters that is chasing that uh, dive bomber squadron. As you can see, there is the defender itself. It won't do much, but it's still there. It's useful. So the anti-aircraft armament of this ship, not particularly the best, but it's it's very useful. I shot down, as I said, probably the most 10 planes in this ship. And it works. So, uh, from here on in, pretty much nothing more interesting happens. So I'm gonna be probably cutting to the uh, the stats and the game report. And I see you there. Here we go. Post battle results. We did quite good. We got 121,000 credits. We did. Almost 500,000 worth of damage overall. And uh, let's see the detail report. So we did 10,000 damage to that Kulenberg, uh, 3,000 to that Konigsberg, 13,000 to that Karlush, another 10,000 to Karlush, uh, 5,000 to that uh, Kamikaze that escaped, uh, 1,000 to that Phoenix, uh, another Kamikaze, some to Miyogi, Munikaze. And Zuiho, but we just shot down one plane. So, uh, our piercing shots we did 
uh, shells fired 170 yeah it's quite a rapid firing but uh, I prefer the uh, Omaha for the rapid firing ship uh, 72 uh, HE shells and let's see how we did it on the team okay we were 4 not bad not bad that Miyogi did probably hell of a lot of damage uh, Kraken unleashed yeah, and uh, probably more than 25% of the enemy hit points and uh, just a flesh wound okay okay so that was a pretty good game actually so 68 shots one plane shot down two ships destroyed two fires one citadel penetration which is nice so overall this ship is amazing I like it uh, pretty much playing this ship and grinding to uh, Burhani which is the next ship and it's uh, by I don't know characteristics it's a very very interesting ship it's also very powerful I guess because it has four turrets and uh, no three turrets still but it has the beret of fire so uh, I'm looking forward to that ship so I hope you guys uh, find out something new about the ship I hope that I helped you with something so until next time guys I hope I see you in the next one.